if you call it a Lungman. Oh boy. Hey guys, in this video I wanted to do just sort of a, a quick dispelling of some of the misconceptions around the Swedish Jungmann rifle. Uh, I happen to have one right here. Uh, pretty sweet. Uh, numbers matching. These are really cool, funky guns. Because I'm into Swedish rifles, um, I had to get one of these. And um, it's just a real funky, cool gun with a uh, really interesting operating uh, system. Um, so the thing that everyone sort of says with this gun immediately, like, um, actually I bought this at a gun show and I carried it around for most of the show and the people that knew what it was, which not everyone did, um, typically they had something to say along the lines of like, you know, oh, that, that thing will make grand thumb look like X, Y, Z, or, you know, something to do with the fact that this thing can smash your finger. Um, which, you know, if you, if you don't know what you're doing with this gun, I could definitely see um, you thinking that, or if you've never really handled one before, I can see you thinking that. Um, so what most people do to sort of demonstrate um, how dangerous this action is, so most of the time they'll have, uh, they'll, they'll take the magazine out, um, and I'll show you why, they, they always do that in a minute. And then with the safety flipped off, when you push this forward and bring it all the way back, the bolt slams forward. So. A lot of people think like, oh, that's, you know, that's super dangerous because, you know, this, this bolt is just flying forward without you doing anything. You know, that's, that's real sort of scary, I guess, to, to a lot of people. Um, however, it's, if you, if you think about it, um, that's designed with a purpose and it's not really that much more scary than most rifles, your bolts closing, really. So here I'll demonstrate it with this SVT-40. I'll uh, lock the bolt back here. Take the magazine out because that's really the only way that these guns are kind of dangerous is with the with the magazine out as, as far as you know catching your fingers on it and uh so on the the Jungmann, you know you kind of press this thing forward on the on the svt it's i mean what's that it's just the bolt slamming forward on on that it's, it's the same thing um Actually, I think the Jungmann was pretty, pretty uh, inspired. It's bolt designed by the SVT. So now the gun does not do this with the magazine inserted. So with the magazine in and the safety off, when you slide this bolt forward and all the way back, it doesn't go forward. Uh, that's because this rifle, it actually has a bolt hold open. So what's happening is that the follower of the magazine is pressing on a little, I guess like a little detent, and uh, it's, it's pushing up and it's just that little detent that's holding the bolt back. So the thing to know about this mechanism is that there's two ways that the bolt can be uh, held back. Um, so if you see it normally, so like right now with the safety, uh, with the safety on, if I pull that bolt back, this right now, the dust cover is holding it by the, uh, by the little catch that's on the, uh, that's on the bolt. So that's the way it's being held right now. Now, if you take the safety off, you'll hear this little click when I pull this back. So what, what just happened is that the dust cover catch released the bolt. And the only thing that's holding the bolt back right now is the little uh, bolt hold open. So by flicking the safety on, when you're gonna reload this gun, when you shoot it empty, um, it, it's really pointless and you're just adding two steps to the whole reloading process that do not need to happen. So right now, safety is off and the bolt is just being held by the bolt hold open. So now I have some dummy cartridges here. So you load these into the gun and, it, and it's fine, nothing, nothing happens. Okay, so now, um, kind of like what I showed you before, if you press this forward, then the dust cover catches on the bolt, and then when you pull this back, it will go forward. There. And also, like you just saw, you do not need to remove the stripper clip after you load it. Um, the stripper clip will, will fly out of there. Um, the first five rounds, you know, you'll have to remove that one, but the, the last five rounds that you load in there, um, you don't need to remove the stripper clip. It will just fly free like all the other Mauser rifles. All right, so just in case you don't believe me, we have one dummy cartridge there in the magazine. So I'm going to chamber it. So right now we're gonna act like we just fired the gun. 
Um, and then we're going to pull this back um, as if we just shot the last round. Uh, this gun has trouble flying out the last round if you don't pull it back with enough force. Um, so right now is the condition that the gun is in as soon as you fire it dry. Okay, and just so you know, this thing is safe. All right, it's not going to, it's not going to eat your fingers because the bolt hold open is holding it open and the, and the safety doesn't do anything. And these guns are getting pretty pricey now. Um, I got this one for a pretty good deal. Um, I had to sell a couple guns to, uh, to actually pay for this, um, but I'm really happy with this. I'm a big fan of Swedish rifles and I think that the uh, Jungmann fits really nicely into a uh, Swedish Mauser collection. Um, so thanks for watching guys. So now, the... Reggie.